Yeah, Mike, y'all were uh, 0 of 10 on third down today. What do you think was the, the cause of those struggles? Um, I'm not sure, but um, when you go over 10 on third down, I mean, you're asking for it. So we just got to come back and go to work and do better on third down and put ourselves in more manageable third down situations. That's probably a big part of it. Scotty. Hey, Mike, what did you think of the, the pop that the TJ Hammonds gave you guys late with the big catch? I think the end of the third quarter and then they get a big, uh, big run too. Yeah, yeah, I, I've been telling TJ, like, just keep your head on straight and just keep working because your opportunity is coming. And so his opportunity came today and he he made a big, he made, he did good with his opportunity. So I'm proud of TJ. He did great. And that was really big for his confidence for sure. Tom? Mike, uh, if we could get your overall thoughts on having uh, a, a tight game with LSU and then the, the big plays you guys had, what, what was working there? Um, thoughts on the game? I mean, like I said, we we can't go over 10 on third down. We can't put ourselves in non-manageable third down situations. And we just got to execute, execute at the end of the day. Like with that being said, we were still in a close game, so. Like I said, it's on us. Like I say every week, it's on us. We just got to go out there and execute. And then big plays, I mean, that's what you need in the SEC game, especially if you're not doing anything on third down. So, I mean, you just got to make plays in the SEC. That's what it is. It's good players versus good players. Jason. Hey, Mike, just uh, your game overall and your continued progression, like, how much do you, more comfortable do you feel week to week and, and the ability to make big plays and the confidence that comes with that? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, I feel good. I feel confident, but I've always felt that way. So um, I'm glad now that it's clicking, but we got to get the win at the end of the day and we just got to go back to work. I got to go back to work because I'm sure there's things that I can get better at. I got to watch the film and just keep improving. Mason. Hey, Mike, it seems like you guys are either kind of having a slow start or you have a big play and you score really quickly. What do you think it is about that for the offense, just scoring really quickly all the time? Um, I mean, we got big play players on our team. Like, our wideout room is full of big player, like big play players. And so is our running back room. And so – and we're our tempo offense, so everything is going to be kind of quicker anyway. So that's what that is. Trey Shap. Mike, do you think that you guys made a, a, enough effort to try and go deep today? And uh, some of the catches you made, what did you see on those plays? Um, uh, what I saw, I mean, it's just man-to-man -man coverage. And when it's man-to-man, -man, I'm already looking at Coach Browns like, and so it was man-to-man -man coverage and I just went deep. And just, you gotta make plays, like I said, in this league, you just gotta make plays, contested catches. Stuff like that. So I feel like that's what we did today. Yeah, Mike, uh, the run game has been really good for y'all. wasn't there today. How much does that uh, hurt the, the passing game? How much does that affect the offense as a whole? I mean, it, it obviously affects us because you need a running game. It, it helps the passing game out and stuff. But at the same time, uh, the receivers, we always got the running backs back. Running backs always got our back. So if we're not on our game, we expect them to pick up the weight. That's just what it is. Sometimes it's got to be <clears throat> this group doing more to help this group out. So that's just football. So, Tom. Tom, Tom. Mike, how do you think you guys are going to bounce back from this one? With the win. What about emotionally? Um, I mean, Coach Pitt does a great job keeping her head on straight uh, every week. So, and so does our strength staff, Coach Walker and his staff. So, we're just gonna come back tomorrow and go back to work. That's what we. That's what we always do. So, we're just gonna keep improving. Last one, Scotty. Yeah, Mike mentioned improving. Where, what areas of the offense do you think can stand the most improvement in these last couple of weeks? Uh, everybody needs to improve. Like. 
Because it, even if, like, let's say I, I had a good game today, but, like, if I don't improve and don't do anything in the future, then it's like it didn't even happen. So everybody has to improve. O-line, running backs, tight ends, quarterback, receivers, everybody has to improve or else, I mean, we're not going nowhere if we don't improve. So. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Mike.